Discard your doubts, now let us understand how COVID-19 vaccines work. Welcome. MedDude is a unique medical knowledge hub endeavoring to provide accurate, accessible, and usable medical information from peer-reviewed researched articles to the world. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. The Immune System, the Body's Defense Against Infection To understand how COVID-19 vaccines work, it helps to first look at how our bodies fight illness. When germs, such as the virus that causes COVID-19, invade our bodies, they attack and multiply. This invasion, called an infection, is what causes illness. Our immune system uses several tools to fight infection. Blood contains red cells, which carry oxygen to tissues and organs, and white or immune cells, which fight infection. Different types of white blood cells fight infection in different ways, these are macrophages, B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. Now let us learn about macrophages. Macrophages are white blood cells that swallow up and digest germs in dead or dying cells. The macrophages leave behind parts of the invading germs called antigens. The body identifies antigens as dangerous and stimulates antibodies to attack them. B lymphocytes are defensive white blood cells. They produce antibodies that attack the pieces of the virus left behind by the macrophages. D lymphocytes are another type of defensive white blood cell. They attack cells in the body that have already been infected. When the first time a person is infected with a virus that causes COVID-19, it can take several days or weeks for their body to make and use all the germ-fighting tools needed to get over the infection. After the infection, the person's immune system remembers what it learned about protecting the body against the disease. The body keeps a few T lymphocytes, called memory cells, that go into action quickly if the body encounters the same virus again. When the familiar antigens are detected, B lymphocytes produce antibodies to attack them. Experts are still learning how long these memory cells protect a person against the virus that causes COVID-19. How COVID-19 Vaccines Work COVID-19 vaccines help our bodies develop immunity to the virus that causes COVID-19 without us having to get the illness. Different types of vaccines work in different ways to offer protection, but with all types of vaccines, the body is left with a supply of memory T lymphocytes as well as B lymphocytes that will remember how to fight that virus in the future. It typically takes a few weeks for the body to produce T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes after vaccination. Therefore, it is possible that a person could be infected with the virus that causes COVID-19 just before or just after vaccination and then get sick because the vaccine did not have enough time to provide protection. Sometimes after vaccination, the process of building immunity can cause symptoms, such as fever. These symptoms are normal and are a sign that the body is building immunity. Types of vaccines, there are currently three main types of COVID-19 vaccines that have undergone large-scale, phase 3, clinical trials in the United States. These vaccines prompt our bodies to recognize and protect us from the virus that causes COVID-19. None of these vaccines can give you COVID-19. Here is a list of each type of these three vaccines. 1. mRNA vaccines. 2. Protein subunit vaccines. 3. Vector vaccines. mRNA vaccines contain material from the virus that causes COVID-19 that gives our cells instructions for how to make a harmless protein that is unique to the virus. After our cells make copies of the protein, they destroy the genetic material from the vaccine. Our bodies recognize that the protein should not be there and build T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes that will remember how to fight the virus that causes COVID-19 if we are infected in the future. Protein subunit vaccines include harmless pieces of the virus that cause COVID-19 instead of the entire germ. Once vaccinated, our immune system recognizes that the proteins don't belong in the body and begins making T lymphocytes and antibodies. If we are ever infected in the future, memory cells will recognize and fight the virus. Vector vaccines contain a weakened version of a live virus, a different virus than the one that causes COVID-19, that has genetic material from the virus that causes COVID-19 inserted in it. This is called a viral vector. Once the viral vector is inside our cells, the genetic material gives cells instructions to make a protein that is unique to the virus that causes COVID-19. Using these instructions, our cells make copies of the protein. This prompts our bodies to build T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes that will remember how to fight that virus if we are infected in the future. Most COVID-19 vaccines require more than one shot. 
All but one of the COVID-19 vaccines that are currently in Phase 3 clinical trials in the United States use two shots. The first shot starts building protection. A second shot a few weeks later is needed to get the most protection the vaccine has to offer. One vaccine in Phase 3 clinical trials only needs one shot. What is the solution? Stopping a pandemic requires using all the tools available. Vaccines work with your immune system so your body will be ready to fight the virus if you are exposed. Getting vaccinated is one of many steps you can take to protect yourself and others from COVID-19. Protection from COVID-19 is critically important because for some people, it can cause severe illness or death. Other steps, like masks and social distancing, help reduce your chance of being exposed to the virus or spreading it to others. Together, COVID-19 vaccination and following CDC's recommendations to protect yourself and others will offer the best protection from COVID-19. Thanks for watching. We hope this information is useful to everyone. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more medical videos. And don't forget to hit the notification bell.